In coming here with students and they, they pay attention to the plant. It's the only plant that has grown flowers and produced fruit in the meat reap. Hmm. Now, there were a series of questions and people have not taken this plant and no identification yet. But there's just one prof, Professor Samudo. I think it's from the University of either Uyo or Unical or something, I don't know. He came here and took this for analysis and all that. Finally, he called me to come take some photograph again and send back to him. And I said, I want to send it either to Sudan or India or whatever, that he, he has discovered that this plant has not been known anywhere. Mm -hmm. So the plant, this plant now, the name he sent to me is called... Thank you. Oh. Oh. The name he sent to <laughs> me. Yes. Mm -hmm. The name he sent to me, that is to say it must have passed through the process of identification mm -hmm. and it has been confirmed that he's the only person that discovered it. That's what I mean. So now the plant's name is Antioclestra samudonensis. Now the plant Antioclestra, the, the, the genus, if you if I go out, I'll show you a plant called Antioclestra vogeli. They have they have the same leaf arrangement, but this one is slimmer, while that one is a bit broad, but longer also. So he now used that Antioclesta from that family, and then add his name, Sam Udonensis. So the plant is, that's why I said that you can equally identify something and they credit it, just like uh, this man from Akwaibu, uh, Dr. Enyang, he came here and discovered an animal, uh, a walk, a walk gigo. Forest Zebra Gego, and it is named after him. That one is called. <laughs> that one, yes, that one is called Emilatelius Enyangi. If you Google it, you will see it online. Emilatelius Enyangi. So people are discovering things and making sure they are pen for them. Is that okay? Antioclesta Samudonensis. Samudonensis. Samudo. 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 Samudo.